ich bin Frieda von den Jungfestival-Bloggern und ich bin hier mit Pico, äh, dem Regisseur von dem Film Rainbow. Um, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, at first of all, I wanted to say I loved your film and I loved all the plot twists in the middle of it and her whole project and everything. And yeah, I have a few questions for you today. Yeah. And at first, um, we just th saw the film, but the people who are going to see this aren't didn't see the film probably. So could you tell us about what the film is about at first? Yeah, actually, of course, uh, thank you for having me and yeah. thank you for <laughs> saying so nice thing about the film. Uh, the film is called Rainbow and it's about a girl called Molly and she has two moms. And on her 18th birthday, she was like, I, I want to know where I'm from because her mother's always told her that she was made in a clinic. So on her 18th birthday, she's going up to this clinic and ask them, oh, can I maybe get my number? Can you see where I'm from? Who is my father? And then they tell her, you have not been made here. So she knows her mothers are lying. So now she has to find who are my fathers and why are my mothers, uh, mothers uh, lying for my, me. And uh, where did you actually get the idea for the story from? Oh, the idea is coming from a lot of different kind of places. Uh, but one of the ideas actually is, um, yeah, I don't want to spoil too much of the f plot, so I don't want to tell uh, too much. But, but one of I the idea is like, this is a story about uh, families. And what is a family? Is it, uh, could you choose your own family or is it only blood related? Uh, relationships that are fa family. So that is the topics we are talking about. The second thing is, uh, this, uh, the idea to this movie Rainbow came from um, in Denmark mm -hmm. in 2001 and two. It was become uh, possible to make uh, babies in cl clinics. Uh, it was not legal for gay people to do it, but it was uh, legal for heteronormative mm -hmm. people. And therefore, we were thinking for ourselves, the screenwriter Thomas Lehrman Lundman and I were thinking, okay, so 18, 20 years ago, it became possible to make uh, young children, children, uh, and how does it affect their life to be made in that way? Mm -hmm. So we were thinking, are these children now become grown up and thinking, who am I? Where did I came from? And who is my father? So, so the idea came from that. Okay, uh, and I realized that the camera work is pretty special in the movie. Yeah. Um, how did you do that? And yeah, where did you get the idea to do it like a little bit? I would say it looks like a YouTube vlog a little bit. Um, so yeah, how did you do that? Um, it was important for us that this movie was for the youth people, the youth audience. So, and I believe that youth people is um, do know the, 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 the YouTube f way of filming. The idea came from, I love films like uh, Cloverfield and mm -hmm. I love films like uh, Blair Witch Movie. It's films where you, you, you are like shooting, it's a POV movie. Yeah. It's like the camera is a part of the story. Mm -hmm. So the idea was like to do this film also like that. And the, the thing it, it, I, I like about that is that when you're doing a POV, you feel that you are in the story. You don't have the feeling as an audience that there is a cameraman and there's a sound equipment and light and everything. So it feels like it's a small documentary film. So that was the reason we did it like handheld and like the actors is filming the movie mm -hmm. themselves. There is a, a professional cameraman on this film, but sometimes the actor is filming it also themselves. And uh, many scenes seemed like they were improvised or something yeah. like that. Uh, did you have always a script or did you improvise sometimes? Everything is scripted. Oh, okay. Everything is scripted. <laughs> but we had all the, the cast was helping us with the script. Mm -hmm. So when we were writing the script, they were like saying, oh, I would never say that. Uh, oh, it could be fun if we do, did this. And of course, the actors is really good, so they are like taking the, uh, the script and doing it, doing it to their, their own story. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, do you have a scene you like to shoot the most of the film or you like to see the most? Yeah, there's one scene I love the most. Oh, actually, there's two. <laughs> uh, there's, no, there's a plot twist in the movie. Yeah. And I love to see the film with the audience when this plot <laughs> twist is happening. 
and especially young audience because it's like mm. I can, like I love to see the, their faces because I can see they're doing like <gasps> no <laughs> yeah. is this happening I love to see that but my own favorite scene is the scene where oh this is also a twi- I can't say that it's also a twist but there is some there's a relationship between two friends in this movie and uh, in a part of the story they are getting angry at each other and then they are getting back together. That scene when they are getting back together, I, I, I don't know why, but I just love it. Because I think it's so how friendship is sometimes. That it's like, it's not a big thing, but it feels so big when you are young. Mm-hmm. So I just love that. And I think the actors did it really good. You already mentioned the friendship between the two characters, Molly and Tobias. And my question is, uh, do, did, did or do you have a friendship like that too? Of course I have. Oh, that's uh, great. I have many friendships. From way back to kindergarten, I still have good friends. That's and nice. that's so important for me because I do believe, like in the movie, that you can choose your family. Your family don't just have to be your blood-related person, like mom and dad. I also have a mom and dad, but I also believe that you have friendship with it, which is so profound and mm-hmm. so somebody you love so much that you keep them as a family and I have a lot of friends I really really love. And uh, how long you are you actually already in the film business or how long how did you get in there? Uh, I've been in the film business for I think 15 years now maybe. Mm-hmm. I'm 38 years old and in high school I was doing some films with a company called Centropa, mm-hmm. uh, which is a company where Lars von Trier is working and stuff like that. So, so I have been there and later on working in a lot of the broadcast union in Denmark. And, and I think I did it the hard way, you know. I, I started as a runner and then just oh, pulled yeah. my way up uh, through, the, uh, through the business. So, yeah. Okay, so yeah, thank you for being here and taking your time and have a great time and the film days. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me and I love Lübeck. That's nice. Thank you.